Hi and welcome to the new episode. Since we have been getting a lot of requests around this topic, we thought of creating something around it, which is about mock interviews. I have personally taken hundreds of these interviews throughout my career and I wanted to present it to you and give you a good perspective about how it would be in real time. So let's get started. Assuming you have just walked into the room for the interview or we are on a phone call, anything. I will first thing that I will try to do is I will try to introduce myself to you. Hey, I'm Sharath and great to meet you. And I might ask you about your day to make you feel relaxed. So once we are relaxed, I might try to give you a little background about myself, who I am and since how long I have been working with that particular company and what are the different things I have been working on. That introduction might help you with uh, in understanding what are the different things that I might actually be interested in listening to. Then I would say, tell me about yourself. By that, I actually mean your role, your responsibilities, the domains that you have worked on and the different skill sets that you have and your overall total experience about the corporate. So this is where you have to have something prepared because by this time I might have not gone through your profile yet. I just want to know about you. So here you have a good chance to show your interests and discuss more about the interesting projects and impressive projects that you have actually worked on. Try to display your uh, technical abilities, the challenges that you have taken and the teamwork skills and any technical initiatives if you have taken any. By impressive, it doesn't have to be something brand new or something totally new. Okay, it can be anything that you have recently explored or you have worked on. For example, you can try to explain the use case that you have recently worked on or you can say some integration, different integration that you have tried out. There's actually no rule uh, as such that interview should be in this particular process but because a lot of interviewers might have a lot of different approaches but by this I'm trying to show how I would take it if I were your interviewer. Then I will quickly jump into the basics. I will try to assess your basic knowledge about the technology by asking you basic questions. Questions like how do you define RPA? What are the different tools that you have worked on? And I might also ask you about uh, different industry use cases available in the market and I might ask you to explain them in detail. Once I get familiar with your basic understanding of the technology, I might move ahead and ask you to explain your recent projects. So this is the opportunity for you to actually showcase your technical expertise. Wait, as an RPA developer, it's just not enough. You are just technically strong. You should have a good perspective, the business perspective of the process being automated. So my advice would be to have a good mixture of the technical and the business explanation. Try to start with the business perspective, the business explanation of the process and then slowly move to the technical aspect of it. By that, I mean first explain the process. So what was the impact that the business had by automating their processes? So that you can discuss about uh, the productivity, the ROI and all those things. And coming to the technical side, you can discuss about uh, the different technologies that you have used to automate that particular process. And also you can discuss about the approaches that you have taken. Third part, I might stress more on the things like what are the different challenges that you have overcome while implementing that particular project? Uh, what are the different issues that you have faced and what was your resolution for that? Once all this assessment is done, I will definitely try to check your logical abilities. Because that's something that every developer should be very good at. Because that will actually give him an advantage when they are designing a solution or when they are trying to come up with different alternatives available. And believe me, it's much needed skill for a better output. So as a fourth part, I might try to throw logical questions at you. 
like I might try to ask you something about string manipulations, date time manipulations and data table concepts. Great if you can come up with the solutions to those. But if I feel impressive by the way uh, how you have actually explained it, I might end up asking you more questions on that. You might expect some alternative questions. Okay, I might ask you how to do it the other way. Suppose if the question was how to filter a data table and you answer that you will be doing it by using inbuilt filter operations. Okay, then I might ask you for an alternate solution. And if you talk about the select method of data table, fine, then I might again ask you for another alternate approach. And now you might come up with link you query. Okay, and it might continue. Okay, if as long as you are providing some alternatives, I might continue asking you the same question. Don't misunderstand the interviewer here, basically me right now. So because the main idea behind this is just to check your openness around the solution. So what are the different approaches that you are open to? And heading towards the fifth part, I might ask you about the exception handling, dividing a project into modules, then about the documentation work, how you actually handle the unit testing in a project, all this. The reason I ask all this is because to assess you on your project understanding. So how much are you aware of that whole project? And how much do you understand from the initial project to the end of it? Because all the points that I have discussed earlier will give me a good understanding of how much you actually know about a project taking from the start to the end. Okay, how much you are able to understand it and how you will be able to handle a project if you have been deployed to a project. And finally, I might try to understand your interest in the technology by asking about your future aspirations. I would say for junior developers, especially if you can just show them that uh, you have a lot of interest in the technology and you are like interested in learning it, then it would definitely be an adv advantage for you. And then finally, ask for the feedback. Don't leave that stone unturned. Okay, because it's something that will actually act as a key thing in every interview. It will actually allow you to improve your shortcomings so that you'll be prepared for the next interview. I hope you have found this helpful and good luck if you are soon going to attend any interview. I will see you next time. Bye and good luck.